Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you part 3 and the conclusion of this replay between Poker Off Kaz and Grubby here on Metalopolis. Kaz, the red Protoss player, Grubby, the blue Terran, with starports and a couple army. Taking a look at the army size, Kaz is definitely stronger than Grubby at this stage in the game, but Grubby really able to stick through this game just by using another nuclear missile. So Grubby really abusing the nuclear launches, and if he's able to take down some of these probes, that's going to be a definite issue. Taking a look at over here, the photon cannon, out of range, out of sight range, unable to spot this down. In comes that uh, nuclear launch, able to take down some of those probes. I don't think he was able to take down very many of them, only getting six of those probes. Uh, Grubby now sticking around with that single ghost, able to shoot down that last um, pylon, and now going to go ahead and try to take down some of those probes. Kaz probably does not realize that that ghost is still sitting there, able to take down a lot of those probes now, now getting up to 10 kills. So doing a very, very effective job of just stopping the mining from Kaz. Kaz down to 32 workers and as he finally realizes what's happening and forcing to move those probes back away taking a look, Kaz still mining from essentially um, one and a half locations right now while Grubby is still mining from only one location, a little bit behind and um, he does in fact have a mine from over here and we have a planetary fortress, so this planetary fortress is in position, siege tank not siege though, so that's going to be a little bit of a concern, another nuclear launch and another missile being dropped in from Grubby, so Grubby trying to drop another missile, perhaps trying to disrupt the whole entire gas production and the robotics facility going to take some damage, we'll see how where that um, one missile lands and there it goes hitting a lot of those buildings once again losing a couple more probes taking a look back look back over here planetary fortress marauders trying to come in trying to fight but that's not going to really work as those overshields really protecting those uh, protecting those uh, immortals and that, that planetary fortress is going to get down very very quickly as those immortals are dealing an amazing 50 damage per shot towards those and buildings. Once again, we have this ghost still trying to focus down, trying to take down more of these buildings. Ghost down to 31 energy, 29, now trying to take down this robotics bay. Another more motor still being produced. A couple marauders sitting over here. And now siege tanks going to go ahead and siege down over here. It's going to be a hard position for Kaz to really come into. Stalker's coming in. Stalker's not going to be the good counter to these units trying to focus down that siege tanks. Siege tank may be able to take down. No, not able to take down enough of those stalkers. And in comes those probes once again. A large number of immortals and stalkers now on this high ground. Try and going to be able to take down this last refinery and perhaps push into this location. But there are in fact three or uh, five siege tanks protecting the main base of Grubby. I do oh quickly taking down a lot of those buildings and uh, activating a lot of those overshields. Bunkers trying to fire back as well. Taking a look over here. Missile turrets in the middle of the base. Ghost still sitting over here. Ghost does have enough for another nuclear launch if he in fact wants to. Able to take down that poor, poor um, pylon. Now once again going to hide back over here. Going to wait up for some more energy and then drop another nuclear missile. Getting another nuclear missile down and the uh, and poor Kaz unable to really find out where any of those, where that ghost is. Stalker now trying to come into play. Nuclear missile looks like it's going to be dropped in time. Will it be able to drop in time? Yes. Will he be able to cloak that ghost now? Yes. Able to able to pull back that ghost. And wow, Kaz just now losing some of his immortal production. This poor ghost still sitting there. We'll see if he does in fact able, yeah, able to take down that last um, refinery. And ghost is taking some damage. Could in fact cloak right now. No, for some reason not cloaking and then that ghost once again taking down so his just guts just be um, just being left behind there anyways coming back over here command center now being put down by grubby as Kaz is now just trying to run around the map I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this replay just a little bit I have not seen this replay so I just want to make sure I can get this all into three parts and making sure that there isn't like a once or like a, a one minute portion of this replay and in, in part four siege tanks now trying to go ahead and grab up that high ledge and more units just trying to run back around, taking a look. We once again have a, another ghost running across the field. Ghost may in fact be able to... Oh, quick! that ghost quickly gets taken down. So an observer overhead means that one dead ghost. We have an observer sitting over here as a command center from Grubby trying to once again take another position. For some reason not using this command center that already has some SCVs in its belly couple of mortals and stalkers now trying to move out taking a look we have a, what 143 armor um, army 143 food army versus 107 and taking turning off the unit overlay once again and now grubby taking these high yield minerals really wanting to take these high yield minerals and trying to just really push out perhaps he should probably get some siege tanks on the onto these El Naga watchtowers poor command center wasn't even able to harvest any materials as Kaz is able to focus down this command center once again down it goes immortal wishing he could shoot the air but in fact he cannot down goes that command center
Oh, nice drop coming in from that backhand side. So Medevac now trying to come in, able to take down, perhaps take down this pylon, and then stopping those photon cannons from being able to fire. But no, a main large army force now coming in from Kaz. Kaz will be able to um, secure this high yield mineral location. Siege tanks and bunkers sitting on this uh, high end side as well. Siege tanks perhaps just trying to defend, and we'll see how this particular fight goes. Siege tanks now fight, trying to fight back, trying to drop in more units. And um, those that main army of Kaz once again being forced to push back out. We may have a two-pronged attack here. Kaz may be trying to come in from both sides. And if he comes in from both sides, that will be fairly effective. We'll see if it's going to be a, a two-pronged pincer attack against Grubby on this high ground. Yes, and in fact, it is going to be this two-pronged attack. Stalkers are not getting within close enough range. Siege tanks getting um, um, blown away by those Immortals. Immortals activating that overshield. And while Grubby is going to lose this high ground, even though it was fairly well fortified, too many Immortals for Grubby to deal with. And this, is, this should be the beginning of the end for Grubby. I do not see any nuclear launches happening anywhere on the map. Now trying to build up another nuclear missile. Uh, command center are going to be burned down. Siege tanks trying to fight back up onto that high ground. Maybe able to take down, no, not even able to take down that 7 hit point immortal. Kaz now trying to regroup himself, perhaps going to try to push in onto this um, particular expansion as Grubby is, as that's Grubby's last place to do any mining. These, um, these SCVs now trying to return those minerals and then going to go ahead and start mining from down over here. Marines and Marauders trying to come back over here. No no command center, no planetary fortress over here, so this is going to be very, very easy for Kaz to take over. Kaz, Marines and Medics, or Marine Medivac and Marauders trying to f and push this whole entire attack back, but those Immortals are going to be too much. Definitely need some Banshees at this stage in the game. Banshees would work very, very well due to that high rate of attack and very, very low damage. Taking a look, I hear another nuclear uh, missile being launched from somewhere. Oh, being launched over here by this Ghost. So Ghost going to go ahead and try to perhaps take down this Nexus, but this Nexus has no probes on it, so really not going to be able to uh, do anything there. Ghost still trying to perhaps take down this Nexus. Nexus down to 688 hit points as those Immortals and those Stalkers once again trying to move back away. More Immortals still being produced. Cash should definitely consider using that Chrono Boost on that Robotics Facility in order to and increase his Robotics uh, Facility production as he wants so many more Immortals. Taken back over here, Kaz now getting revealed. I think every single one of his Nexus or Nexi have, excuse me, have plenty of energy. C trying to take down this high ground once again. Kaz gonna just run in with Immortals and Stalkers, doing dealing a fair amount of damage. Uh, Metavax now trying to move back away. I hear another a nuclear missile to launch, and here we have another ghost trying to launch another nuclear missile. Kaz just probably frustrated with the number of probes he's had to produce this whole entire game. And down it goes, 24 kills for that one single ghost now, as that ghost is going to get into position and then start finishing off these probes. And trying to um, get within range of that Photon Cannon. Photon Cannon fighting the back against that ghost. Ghost is going to get destroyed right there. Down it goes. Still the main army of Kaz still trying to move around the map. And even though... Grubby has done a marvelous job consistently n launching nuclear missiles around the whole entire map. I do not believe he can take this game. Kaz is just too far ahead economically. 42 harvesters compared to Grubby's 18. And even when he has 18, he's only mining from what what is essentially two mineral patches left sitting over here. Perhaps he should still consider trying to do some long distance mining from this particular location. But we have a couple, wow, that's a lot of probes stacked on top of each other right there. Kaz should probably consider taking another expansion as well as there's no real reason to have more than three probes mining from a single single mineral patch. Observer still running around the map, still waiting for Kaz to deliver the death blow. Uh, more nuclear missiles, yeah, another nuclear missile going to be launched. We'll see, uh, waiting for it, yeah, calling down another nuclear missile. And is the Ghost Academy going to prepare another nuke, arming that nuclear silo once again? we just got to wait for it as that missile is going to be called down. Units trying to move back away. Probes trying to get away in time, unable to get away. And in comes that shockwave. So Ghost just standing there looking pretty, pretty high and mighty. No additional nuclear missiles being built out of the single Ghost Academy at this stage. And Marines and Medivacs trying to come back up, trying to take down, just trying to do harassment against Kaz. But Kaz with such a, um, such a strong attack force should be able to take down the rest of these Medivacs and uh, the rest of Grubby's army without any real incident. Coming in over here, we have this Immortal and Stalker army going to go ahead and try to come back up on this high ledge. Two siege tanks are in position. Medivacs are in fact sieged. 
but and th those bunkers are not a good counter towards those immortals. Those immortals, in fact, deal full th or uh, do deal a full 50 damage towards those units, trying to uh, draw the fire of those particular um, immortals. Immortals and meta or marines trying to counter those immortals. In comes the rest of this large army, and the units are just continuing to fire, continuing to fire. Immortals are going to be able to push into this position without any real issue, and those medevacs pretty much have no additional units to heal. Only three marines left on the ground and those tanks are going to get taken down so Kaz um, just overwhelming with overwhelm um, a larger number of units thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this three-part replay between poker off Kaz and grubby here on metalopolis